Hi there. Today we're going to go over a two-minute illustrated gospel presentation. Uh, our props are a thing of sugar, salt, and pepper, and this is a sugar packet that's white, and two of them. Um, grandparents have a special relationship with their grandchildren. We are expect, respected for our wisdom and loved for our kindness. So combine both of, by taking your grandchild out to breakfast to share the gospel. My favorite destination has all of these props and it's the, at the original House of Pancakes. Uh, there's something there for even the most picky eaters. Um, after ordering, ask your grandchild, has anyone ever explained to you how Jesus Christ saves all who put their faith in him? And if they say yes, then say, have you seen it explained with sugar and salt shakers? In the beginning, God made us without any sin. He made us to be close to him, like a child is close to their parents. This sugar shaker is God. He is perfectly good. He is pure and holy. He is sweet like sugar, and he loves us. This, this salt shaker is his creation, Adam. He has no sin and is close to God. He enjoys God's love. Now, when sin came in to Adam, it, it broke that close relationship between God and man. Sin causes all creation to have darkness in their hearts. The pepper, the pepper shaker, reminds us that we often also do bad things. And so that pepper, that sin in our lives, uh, separates us from God. But even though sin has made our hearts dark and God cannot approve of sin, God is still loving us, just as sugar is still sweet. So God made a way for us to come back to him. He sent Jesus, his son, to, become, to come into the world to save us. Jesus had no sin and loves us. Now, Jesus, when he died on the cross, took the punishment for our sin. So now anyone who hears this gospel and believes in Jesus can have their sins forgiven and return to God. And just as God raised Jesus to life, we who believe will also live with God in heaven forever. We have been made clean through the blood of Christ. He has died in our place. Do you understand what we've been talking about? Would you like to pray to receive Christ now? Repeat after me. Dear God, I understand that I am a sinner and that my heart is dark like the pepper shaker. Thank you for sending your son. Thank you for sending Jesus to die on the cross and to take away my sins forever. I know that because I am trusting in Jesus today that I will live forever with you. Amen.